Hey guys, so I'm Anthony and I'm this week's AMA. There are a ton of questions and we're going to make this short and sweet so that way we can both keep our sanity. Adam Striebel, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, Adam says, what game would you like to make and exclude from Jesse? Uh, I would have to say anything superhero related. I would like to make it and I, I know Jesse's not a huge fan. Sharon K. Shukjer, I'm sure I'm butchering that, but Sharon says, is there anyone in the building who doesn't drink coffee or tea other than Key or Anna Kate? Uh, I would have to say maybe Nate doesn't care for coffee. Uh, I know Rick's not a big coffee fan, uh, and I don't know about Corey. Other than that, everybody drinks coffee, even Key, no matter what he says. Alex Cisneros wants to know, what one piece of advice would you give to a new painter of minis? Um, first of all, practice, uh, obviously. Uh, you can go and find any tutorials on painting on YouTube, which will be more than beneficial. But uh, just, just take your time, be patient with it. Uh, it's going to be a learning curve kind of thing that you just have to get used to. Um, and less is always more. Paul Sangster would like to know, in Endangered Orphans of Condal Cove, you were a stretch goal, Mr. Coffee Cometh. Oh, forgot about that. How did you turn yourself from an afterthought into a mainstay of the company? And also, have you put yourself into any of your games? Uh, it wasn't quite hard to transition from an apparent afterthought, I guess. Uh, I was just uh, helping them out with the campaign and then the opportunity arose that they were able to bring on some extra staff and uh, it seemed like a, a next step so it happened uh, and have I put myself in any of my games no I haven't Jesse's usually the callback king he always has the fun little uh, tie-ins to other games and stuff added in so if I'm not in any games uh, it's him you have to blame Robert Mavis would like to know, Kiss, Mary Kill. What is the choice for each from amongst the rest of the certifiable staff? That is a loaded question, my friend. That is, and I know you're doing that to me on purpose. So, for your answer to upset Jesse, I'm going to say Key for all of them. He's a small guy with a big heart, uh, and we've all heard him talk. Nobody's going to miss him if he's gone. Kimber Forrester. Kimber would like to know, can I come to Certifiable and live under your gaming table? You could. Rent's very high. Uh, actually, we want you to come. Uh, we would appreciate the extra income. Brittany Riles would like to know, if you could take any video game and convert it to a board game, which would it be and why? Uh, I would think off the top of my head, maybe probably Street Fighter. I've always been a huge fan of Street Fighter and I would like to see a very interesting mechanic for a fighting game in a card game or tabletop game. Even though, yes, I know there is a Street Fighter game that was already launched on Kickstarter, which I did back, uh, I'm excited to get. But that's my choice. Aaron Lee asks, has Jesse ever asked you to draw a character only to have you laugh mockingly in his face and draw something completely different from what he expected slash wanted? Um, no. Jesse doesn't ask me to draw anything. Jesse can draw himself. And I always laugh mockingly in his face. So there's that. Bob Hoyne would like to know, who is your favorite artist and why? Uh, currently, I mean, that takes a lot of thought, but throwing one off the top of my head, I would have to say Cam Kendall. Uh, he's a really great 2D illustrator. Uh, I love his style. He has really nice cartoony stuff. Um, just good inspirational stuff, so I would go with that one. Roy Pillars would like to know, who forgot the S in the picture? Uh, that would be me, but did I forget it? Because when I don't drink coffee, that's pretty much how I talk. I don't make sense. And also, what free software would you suggest for 2D computer graphic creation? I know Photoshop, but need something not owned by the university. Gotcha. Uh, Roy, uh, GIMP. GIMP is a really good free program. Uh, it's comparable to Photoshop. Uh, I've seen 
tons of artists do really great stuff with GIMP, so check that out. Amelia Harrington wants to know, what are your favorite steps in creating new games? Uh, each step has its own pros and cons, uh, but I, I think like the middle part is probably the most fun. The, the beginning you get a lot of concepting going on, new ideas, new stuff. The, the, the middle is where you get most of the actual work. You get your drawing, your sculpting, uh, your, your solving problems that you've kind of already created in the concepting stage. Now you're trying to make it actually work and function properly. So uh, there's a lot of problem solving that goes on in the middle that I, I actually enjoy a lot. Tim Tuttle would like to know, when you're looking at new games, what mechanics make you say, I know I'll love this game. Uh, I would have to say probably dexterity mechanics. I, I do like a good dexterity game. Um, some resource management stuff and crafting are, are always a fun mechanic that uh, I see in a game that I actually will really enjoy or potentially enjoy. Um, and drafting. I, I like card drafting. Those are always fun. David Leach would like to know, which character is your favorite to play and who goes there and why? Uh, that's an easy answer, it's Copper. Uh, and quite frankly, it's just because when we were testing the game in the early stages, that's who I constantly played, just so I could, um, I would know what was going wrong if something was going wrong. Instead of switching characters a lot, we kind of mainly stayed with one character per person. And then once we figured it out, then we would rotate around. But Copper was who I started with. Joel McAllister asks, what would be your dream IP from which to make a game? Well, Joel, I think I would have to say DuckTales. Uh, it's always been a, a go-to cartoon for me and even Jesse, uh, and it would just be a lot of fun to get to work with that IP. Andy Estrada asks, when will I see your art in a project? Uh, when you back one of our projects. When I see your name on that Kickstarter list, Andy, then I'll know you've seen my art in a project. John Coffey, Dad, wants to know, what dessert do you want for Thanksgiving dinner this year? Uh, pecan pie. You, you know the answer to that. Always pecan pie. Alexander Vanderpoel wants to know, do you ever draw funny pics of Jesse slash Rick or other members of the crew? And if so, can you show some crazy ones? I don't know what you're talking about. I have never drawn a funny picture of Jesse or any one of the crew. Never. Michael Berenger wants to know, will there be another kickstart er? Kickstart, kickstart art er? Uh, you can figure that one out. Campaign. I simply love your artwork and of course the others at CS Artwork as well. Uh, we honestly don't know what the future holds, so there could be another art book or, you know, personal sketchbooks coming, who knows. Um, only time will tell, you just have to keep your eyes open. Oates would like to know, has there been any advancement in Coffee Busters, the most anticipated game in the Cove? No, there hasn't. Uh, there have been so many things going on, I have not made any progress on that. Uh, all the brain power is going to other places. Next, he asks, what is your favorite piece of art in your office? Um, right off the top of my head, I would have to go with my Ninja Turtle figures. Uh, I really, really like those. Uh, I'm a little biased, but I, those would probably be my go-to pick right now. Casey on Instagram asks, a uh, scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you to get D6 into people's hands? Um, We'll go with an eight. Uh, definitely excited. We've been working on this for a while, uh, and these last few weeks slash months have been, you know, just crossing the T's and dotting the I's, and uh, it's going to be good to see it all packed together in one solid game. Because right now we've just been getting pieces and parts. Um, when we get that final sample and get to see it all packed together and get to unwrap and everything, that's going to be the kind of payoff moment. And then we'll get it into your hands. Patrick asks, okay, Anthony, three questions. All right, let's do this. One, how do you get any work done with Corey, Hunter, and Nate always playing games outside your office? Yeah, uh, Tuesdays are headphone days, so, eh, you know, it is what it is. Number two, 
In a CS, who goes their game? Would you bunk with Key or take the vulnerable card? That's a tough one. Uh, I think just out of principle, I would take the vulnerable card. And I wouldn't bunk with him. Not gonna do it. Number three, can you tell us something new about an upcoming project that we don't already know? No. I can't. And I won't. Enrique asks, when are you guys going to release the rulebook for D6? I want to get prepared before the game arrives. Uh, Enrique, if you join uh, the Cove on uh, Discord, there are early drafts of the D6 rulebook that are available for the Cove to check out and see. Dave MD asks, While everyone else was doing good questions in three, so... Thanks, Dave. Question one. What artist has had the biggest influence on your personal style? Um, that's a tough one. It's not really one artist. Uh, I think I would say I was probably more influenced by like the whole 80s genre of cartoons. Uh, I was definitely the kid that was always after school sitting in front of the TV just drawing the cartoons I was watching. Uh, so there's always that special place in my heart for that. I think that would be the best answer versus one artist. Question number two. How many games would you say you get to play a week? Surprisingly, not as many as you would think. Uh, one or two would probably be a generous answer. Question number three, how do you take your coffee? Black. That's all the questions for this week's a AMA. Um, check back next week for the next victim, most likely Hunter or Nate.